Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you watched the previous video, we did the winch and light installation on the body armor front bumper. And we got it all spooled up and ready to go. This uh, video, we're gonna go ahead and take care of installing it in here, but we're gonna give you a expedited process. So you don't have to take off all this crap on the front of the bumper like the directions tell you. All we do is take this off, we cut, do our cuts, and that allows us to get to the crash bar. Once we get the crash bar out of there, then we can relocate the, um, the uh, power steering cooler. Uh, but we do have to take the grill off. So let's get started. Hello, and welcome to Midlife Crisis. My name is Aaron, and I invite you to follow along with me and my son Austin on our journey as we build out a few camper vans and customize a new Toyota Tacoma into a beast. Then later in the year, we'll head out to Southeast Asia to ride a couple of adventure bikes through multiple countries, sharing the amazing experience with our viewers and ending our tour in Thailand. There, we will decide what to do next, maybe buy a sailboat and sail around the world. Who knows? So please hit subscribe and follow us on this adventure. Okay, so in here, we're gonna need a 10 millimeter ratchet. You're gonna need your special little tool to pop these, uh, these little plug deals off and a pair of needle nose pliers. So first off, we just wanna pinch this and push it through, get it out of the way. We don't need that anymore. We've got two of these we wanna take off. All right, now that we got those off and out of the way, just kinda make sure those are nice and loose. We're gonna pop these, take that out, take this one out, nope, that's it. All right, so I forgot we have our little clip here. Come on, where are you at? You know, an easier way to do this Set it out of the way. There. Now we can see in here, get everything. All right, here comes the ugly part. Um, underneath here, I don't know if you can see this, but we have to tear this black piece off. we're done with it. Uh, and then we'll use our little tool. Try these clips off of here. And that's it. Trash. Okay, now that we've gotten that stuff off, all we've removed is the grill, a couple screws, a couple of uh, those little pop nut things. And here is our bumper portion for our crash bar right behind it. If you reach down, uh, if you can re if you can even get in there, there's a couple of clips or you know what, brute force, just pull that little clip right there. Rip and tear, rip and tear, rip and tear. pull this little clip, that part should come out. That part should come out. There's one on the end here I can't find with the camera in my hand, but, oh, there it is. Ugh. Okay, another, another little clip right here on this end. And then you got one right here on the bottom, another one right here, and you got some more garbage. All right, so to get to this, it's going to be easiest if we do our cut first. There is a bolt way back here that is attached to the bumper and it is a one we just need to pinch and it'll come off. 
um, with the pliers. But we do have three bolts holding the crash bar on and then we will have crash bar mounts underneath it that we need to remove. But the easiest way to get all this stuff out of here is to go ahead and do our cuts. The cut you're gonna do is three quarters of an inch from this edge. So give us a minute, we'll get this dialed in and you're gonna, you're gonna come down, so three quarters of an inch from this edge and you're gonna, you're gonna wrap in to this corner and you're gonna come down this seam right here all the way down the bottom and then underneath here you're gonna come across and then cut down that seam. So you're gonna come up like that here then you're gonna feed into your three quarter of an inch mark that you put here and cut all this off. We'll go ahead and get it taped, uh, not taped off. We don't need to tape it off because you're putting a rubber edge on it. So taping it off makes no sense. You're just gonna make a mess anyway. I'm just gonna use pin, cut it, and then uh, we'll get caught up. So as you can see, we've got that off. It does leave some burrs and everything, so we're gonna take a little bit of a piece of sandpaper to it. You wanna be careful not to scratch the top of your um, fender here, uh, obviously, because that's painted, but this edge, all this stuff is gonna get covered uh, with some uh, rubber, this stuff here. So this will go over all of it. And we're gonna shoot a little silicone inside of, uh, uh, the track every now and then so that we can lock it down so it doesn't peel up or somebody come by and take it off jerk um, Other than that We may need to take these two pieces off here But I'm gonna try and do it without just uh, like I said in the interest of time. So uh, Let's get going on the sanding and then we'll take the crash bar off All right, you can see our crash bar. We've got one two three bolts in there and then back in there let's see if we can get some light in. there's a little right on the top of this piece here there's a little pinch we got to get to get this piece off of it so let's get that taken off It is not a pinch deal. It's actually a 10 millimeter. It's not gonna fall out, right? Huh? 
No, I just have All to right. pinch this one out. Now this should just come right off, and it's garbage. Now we need to take the brackets off as well. Okay, that's going to put up a fight. <laughs> I can kick it. Jeez. If you look down here, these bolts that I'm taking out, there's three of them match up right with these three holes here. That's how it will mount to your bumper. You don't need that, that goes into the uh, aluminum recycling bin. Take it to school. <laughs> yeah, we could. On it. Let's, uh, let's take the plasma cutter to it. Oh yeah. That'd be fun. your bolts to mount your bumper but before we can do that we have to move the power steering fluid cooler so this comes off I believe with a 12 can you grab me a 12 Austin no but I can, I can drop it Angry bolt does not want to let go. Okay, we got one more. And it's going to keep us from pushing this back. And it's back there behind the wheel. Okay, and our last bolt to move the coolant fluid is right there. That bolt right there, just take that one out and then we will be able to move it back. All right, what do I just do with those? Okay, there. All right, so to move your cooler back, as I'm sure they've explained in many other videos, you're gonna mount the existing coolant on this bracket, on both of them. Put a washer on each, and then we got a lock, a uh, lock nut, locking nut. Just means it has that Teflon at the top, so once it goes on, it's not coming off, not easily anyway. And I didn't check to see what size these are. They feel like a ten. They're going to be a twelve. Nope. I think I need a 13. Anyway, we will uh, get these on here. And then once those are on, we just push this back and we mount these into the existing factory location here with the existing factory bolts. 
down in the hole there. All right. Probably need to figure out how that gets in there. There we go. So there and there. But I want to. Come on. I want to get these drilled down first when I can get a hold of them. And then we'll get right back to you. Okay, now that we've got all this trimmed up, so it's nice and flush with everything, uh, we put our 10 millimeter screws back in to connect this part of the bumper to the plastic that's uh, back underneath here that you can't see. And we're gonna go ahead and put our trim up and around. Um, because I want it to stay in place, I'm gonna throw some clear silicone in here for about the first six inches or so. And that'll give it a nice bead. Lock it in place. And then every so-and-so, especially around the corners, I'll throw some more in there so it doesn't go anywhere and work itself out. go trim is in we are ready to throw the bumper in hang on okay as I mentioned before the black pieces right here that are coming down here there those are air catches to drive air into your cooling system you do have to take those off so there is one clip in the middle that you take off with your little screwdriver or what have you and then there's one here one here and uh, I think there's one down the bottom same thing on all three so you have your clip that goes in here this is just a plug a plug another plug and then pull that out um, they'll go right back in but that way we can access those bolts right here to mount the bumper just so you know okay okay <laughs> stop <laughs> Alright, come on. Shit stain. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to stop laughing and get this thing put up into the truck, so <laughs> you snorted. <laughs> Alright, come on, retard. I can't figure it out. Whose kid are you anyway? Come on, no laughing. <laughs> I'm so excited. What? Dog. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. And they also give you a very long bolt. And you're going to put this in. And it's going to go through the back side. Oh, wait. We're going to have to do this from the top. Hold that thought. I the camera's going to be here. You going to the camera? No, I'm gonna get this screwed in so I can go. It's safe. And then we're just here back for it. In case it does. Eat in. Eat in. Eat in. Do you remember what size these were? 13 maybe? 12. Yeah. Oh, they're 
14th, that's right, because I've used the ratchet. That should hold it. I need the 14 wrench. Get the 14 wrench going. Is it down there? So anyway, you have this really extra long bolt that they give you, and you have to put that in through the bottom. That goes through a hole in the back of the bumper. Boom. Bob. What else are we missing on the first place? Gross. Starting to take shape, huh? It's looking fabulous. Alright. Just like we took it out. Alright. Bottom in first.
Okay, let's double check everything. We've got all of our screws in here, and the bolts. Everything's clipped in. That's nice, isn't it? So if you really had to undo the thing, you could reach down here and unlatch the spool. The most so short. You, so you could. <laughs> true. So you could unspool it without having to use the thing. And, well, we subscribe and I guess if you opened up your hood, you could get to your wire and bring it out the hood. Yeah. And use your controller that way. I'm fine just leaving it right here. I would just have it set up in the front. See so a little holster and everything. A little holster? Yeah. Yeah? Got my wings holster. Sir, is that a firearm in your car? No, it's just a winch. It's a winch gun. Okay. How's that looking? I don't like that. I don't know how it looks. It's better to have it than not have it. So I'm just going to leave it. I don't have it yet. There's a valve. Can you push this back in? So I'm going to put this somewhere I can get a hold of it. I guess right there is fine. Okay. If I need to, I can just grab it from down there. Alright. Be sure to check your uh, fog lamps because these can unclip. I'm trying to get the other side. Okay. Well, what do you think? I think it could be better. I think that looks pretty damn tough. There you go. Well, there you have it. We're all done. I'm very happy with it. Ooh, ah. Like I said, we will get to the lights in another video. Uh, we have a roof rack video coming up, and that has four ditch lights in it. So we'll have to get those installed and run down into the cab. We've got this light. We're going to have a large 45 inch light bar on top. And we have the two lights uh, from the previous install video of the rear bumper. So we have a whole bunch of lights to install. As you may have saw looking on the bench, we do have an air compressor that's going in. That's going to be underneath the hood. Uh, so that video is coming up. That'll be hooked up as well at the same time when we do our electrical video. Um, that's going to be pretty extensive, so uh, stay tuned for that, and we'll get all this stuff hooked up. Oh, and we're doing fog lights and a grill soon. Stay tuned. Press subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff. Kid needs a job. You need to get paid. We need 100 subscribers, too. Help. Hello, Clarice. And when you're doing this, make sure you take the right bolt off. <laughs> that one goes to the muffler. I mean the muffler. <laughs> this, is going in. this is going in the blooper reel. We gotta cut this part out. Yeah. They're right next to each other. Are you going to call it next, the engine? There we go. <laughs> now we got the right one. Ow! Where are your gloves?